Tool number two, the one that gets everybody <laughs> totally counterintuitive, total acceptance. So how many of you have had that experience that I know so well where you're in a dressing room with a three-way mirror and really bad lighting and you catch a glimpse of that backside and you just go, oh, you know, wow, all of my bad behavior has been adding up and I had no idea. I have been in this place so many times and just broken down in tears in these dressing rooms. What my old patterning was in those moments was drill sergeant. You know, I would feel the pain of that image and then I would say to myself, enough is enough. Tomorrow you're signing up for a boot camp, you know. No more sugar until this changes. Like, I would take all of that upset and I would come up with some solution, some fix and change that was harsh, right? It was like I would just think that if I could just drill sergeant myself enough then I would finally get control over this thing. And it really was painful for me. You know, I would be in that dressing room making all these promises, get in my car, drive home and stop at the quick mart for a, a little sweet so that I could just one more indulgence before I get it together. You know, what I can see now is I was just trying to soothe my heart. You know, my heart felt so hurt by that drill sergeant voice that I was inflicting upon myself and I just needed to soothe the moment. So I just made all these promises and now I'm at the quick mark buying something that's reinforcing the problem and then I'm going to wake up tomorrow and get it all together but then what happens? I wake up tomorrow and I do all the same old behaviors. You know, I, I can't tell you how much that stuff hurts. It hurts. Especially when I'm winning Emmys and I'm standing on stage being acknowledged. And I know that this is actually what's happening in my world. This is what my daily life looks like. 